is physics based computational engineering to aid product design or to aid engineering broadly was cfd among the early runners of that whole broader field or were there other fields where physics based numerical methods were already well adopted a great uh, point as it turns out i think structural mechanics led the way uh, you might recall that uh, professor zinkevich's very influential book came out uh, you know in the 60s even right and that and other uh, advances sparked uh, the entrance of finite element methods into structural mechanics and structural analysis but the second area that to mature i would say was computational fluid dynamics yeah but both were victories of mechanical engineering so yes yes right? absolutely so no other discipline outside mechanical had had already bought into this power uh, i i would say with the exception of uh, you know we think of aerospace engineering mm. as a close sibling of sure. mechanical sure. engineering right so aerospace engineering certainly was no stranger to computational methods because in uh, aerodynamics mostly in the context of large uh, airframe uh, manufacturers like boeing and uh, and and similar companies and in the military world in the defense world uh people had already started implementing software uh for computational uh, fluid dynamics but relatively simplified they were not solving for example full navier stokes equations with uh you know full viscosity effects or uh variable property effects they were focused on euler equations or inviscid type of calculations so it was it had come along earlier than the general fluid dynamics uh sort of market grew i would say in science and engineering but uh, not broad very special purpose